forgot the stuff. Uh, last time I was going to uh, preach, and God just didn't move in the, in that direction. But uh, tonight I just got a simple little message. Something that God showed me when I was outside at work. We have an uh, outside area where you can go and sit. And I was out there eating with some people. And God just kind of laid this on my heart. I want you to, if you have your Bibles, I want you to take your Bibles. I want you to stand to your feet. We're going to turn to uh, 1 Peter. And I think we're going to have it on uh, 5, chapter 5, verse 8. See my Bible better. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Find out where I'm sure I ain't messed up that bad. Yeah. There you go. Now, see, I took five for an eight for a second there. It says, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, and has a comma between that, just to make a statement, yes. as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, God, I thank you for this day. I thank you, God, for the word. I thank you, Lord, for God, for visiting with us tonight. God, I thank you for a place, God, that we can come and worship you, God. When you come, God, get charged up, God. I thank you, Lord, for revival, God. This area needs revival so yes, bad, Lord. Lord. Father, we all need revival, Lord. I pray, God, yes. that it's a circle around us, God. In the center of the circle, God, is where we stand. I pray that's where revival begins tonight, God. Yes. I thank you, God, for your word, Lord. And I, I pray, God, that I'm able to deliver it, God, in the way you give it to me, Lord. I thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Yes. Just for a moment, you can have a seat. Just for a moment, I just want you Yo, you got a, I got a long Bible there. Just for a moment, I want to talk to you about that Satan is as a lion. He's not a lion, but he's as a lion. Sneaking around, seeking who he may devour. Now, when I say who he may devour, I took it like this. Like if I come up. May I just take your Bible from you? Or may I just... This is the scenario that God gave me. You're sitting at your house. Somebody you love, they love you enough, they come and give you $100 in 20s. And they're laying on your coffee table or end table, whatever you got. It's laying there. And somebody that you know now, and when I say thief, every one of you probably got somebody in mind. But a thief that you know comes walking in your house and he walks up to you and he sees the, the $100 laying there in 20s and it's like, uh, may I steal that from you? What would you say? <laughs> no. no. But now, if you tell him no and you walk out of the room and, or leave your house and leave him there standing in front of the table with the $100, of 20s and he takes the $100 and steals it whose fault is it? yours whose fault is it? yours it's our fault ain't it? it's yes. not the thief's fault he's doing exactly what he was he's, 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 that's who he is yes. that's who he is it's like the old uh, story I, it, it, everybody in here probably knows this but I'll tell you just in case you know the story of the little girl walking up a hill on a cold day sees a snake laying on the side of the hill. He says, pick me up. I'm cold. Help, I'm cold. She says, no, I can't touch you. You're a snake. He says, oh, I couldn't bite you. I'm too cold. Plus, I even hurt. I'm not going to hurt you. You're helping me. And she says, no, I can't do that. And he says, oh, come on. I promise I won't hurt you. I promise. She picks him up, puts him in her coat. They get about a few steps up. He gets warm and he bites her. She throws him down and she grabs her side and she says, I thought you said you weren't going to bite me. He said, well, I am a snake. 
That's right, amen. <laughs> it's a humorous scenario, and so is the thief. But the truth is, when, when God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to bring salvation to the world, salvation wasn't just getting saved. It wasn't just staying out of hell. The Bible said he made us, made us righteous. It wasn't because of how we live. It wasn't because we go to church. It wasn't because of nothing. He made us righteous. Yes. Right. So what he brought to us, he's, he's, he was anointed. He brought healing to us. He yes. brought salvation to us where we can be born again. Yes. But there's so much more. He brought blessings to us. And he's laid it all on our table. And Satan comes by and he wants to devour it. Wants to devour you. And he's asking you, can I take this and can I take that? Well, of course, you know, we all say, well, no, I, uh, I, you can't have this, Satan. But you walk away and you leave it on the table. The reason God gave me this, I believe, is because I have so many people who contact me on Facebook or by text messages and whatnot asking for prayer that never darkened the door of a church. And this is this is what God gave me for that situation. There are some things that you need to do in your life. Yes. yes. God said forsake not the assembling of yourselves yes. together. That's exactly That's right. Service. Yes. That you would forsake not the assembling of yourselves. That means when it's time for church, that's where you need to be. That's exactly if right. Any way for you to be here. Now, some people work and so they can't get here. But if you can be here, you need to be here because you're a part of this vision, and it's because of you. Because God has called you to this vision, help fulfill the vision. But it's also because it's what God said for you to do. Uh, when you get sick, you stay out of church, and then when you get sick, you run to the church. How many times have you ever seen anybody? They get sick. The first thing they do is go run into the church. Amen. And they want prayer. That's and exactly they get, right. They come in here and they get healed up, and then everything's going good. And then first Saturday night, they're back out shot in the world. Amen. Yes. And then we don't see them for weeks and weeks, and then there they are again, sick again. That's right. You can't come in here. The person that I'm talking about told me they said, "Well, you know, I pray. Well, good. You need to pray. But if you think prayer is going to get you from attack of the devil." You got That's exactly coming. right. God, Amen. Look, when you go to church, when God tells you to go to a church, He's trying to get you somewhere. Um, I wish I could think of the right thing to say right here. Because I, it's so important. I, I told her this. When I go to buy a car now, ever since my episode, I know what to check. I'm going to Google that thing. <laughs> I'm going to make sure this thing's right. Amen. I'm going to check it over good. If I have to, I'll get a mechanic to check it out. We're going to make sure when we walk off the car lot and we've paid a lot of money for something that we've got what we went to go get. Yes. And when you get ready to go into a battle with Satan, God yes. equips you. In yes, he does. This is, where you're, this is where you get ready. This is where you come to to get you. Because, listen, uh, the Bible says the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal. Yes. That's you exactly right. Amen. It's not something you can hold. You can, you can have... You can have the Bible in hand. If you don't know what's in it, it ain't going to do you a bit of good. Yeah. You might as well be holding the Webster's Dictionary. Right, it's going to do you this right. much good. Yeah. God opened it up to figure out what's in it. That's how you use it. So you got to have prayer. I'm going to tell you, most people don't spend no time with God praying. And when they, when they use the Lord's <laughs> Prayer, they go in there and they just say the Lord's Prayer. They have no idea what it's about. It was a model prayer for us to use to know how to pray, saying that when we go to God, how do it be thy name? When we go to God, we don't just go in there and say, well, God, I need a new car. We, yes, we go amen. God, I praise you. I thank you, God, for getting me through today. I yes. thank you, God, for salvation. That's Lord, right, thank amen. God, I'm out of church. I thank you, God. Amen. You, you yes. helped my family, God. Yes. I made it through got something. I'm going to tell you, I've been in places where there ain't nothing to eat. That's exactly yes. right. Amen. Thank God when there's something on the table to eat. Yes. Amen. Amen. When you go to God, you need to give Him thanksgiving and praise. Give Him praise because He's worthy of praise. Yes, yes. He is. Amen. Yes, He is. Amen. And then when you go for prayer, you're going to need to read the Word. Spend some time. How will you ever know the will of God? Sometimes... You know, I don't know if it's just shallow teaching or whatever it is, but one of my pet peeves is people praying in that, Lord, if it's your will. You know, I want you to understand something. The Bible has God's will right there. Jesus came to this earth. How many people? Can y'all name one person that Jesus made sick? 
No. He said he healed them, didn't he? All of them that would be healed. Yes. He healed all of them that would be healed except when he went to Nazareth. They couldn't be healed. Yes. Because they never saw Jesus. All they saw was a carpenter. A carpenter's son. So you've got to know what is in the Word of God for you. The Word of God is the will of God. Everything that he has in there. He said, one thing, one thing just a side note here. When Jesus, he didn't say go over here and condemn the sickness. I, I hear people doing that all the time. Like, we come against this cancer, we come against that, we come against this thing. Jesus never said that. Every time he said, what he said was what he wanted. If it was laying in the floor, he said, get up, take your bed, and walk. Right. Amen. If it was blind, he said, open your eyes, what do you see? <laughs> he didn't say, be healed. He just said, open your eyes, what do you see? Yes. you got to know the will of God. If you don't know the will of God, you're praying a faithless prayer. How can you have faith in something you have no idea what it is? Exactly right. Right? Yes. When you say, Lord, if, when you use the word if, you already put doubt in your prayer. The Bible says that which is not of faith is sin. Yes. So when you go to God, you need to know what the Bible says. So when you have prayer in your life and you have spent time with God and you know the Word of God, then you have a, a formula to get yourself going when you get in a battle with Satan. So listen, Satan don't care who you are, who you're married to, what church you go to. He's coming after us all. Yes, he's he is. He's coming after every one of us. And he's seeking whom he may devour. Power, yes. And I'm going to tell you, when he, comes to, when he comes to devour you, don't think he's just going to come rolling up uh, and you're just going to recognize him right off. Oh, that's the devil. You know, I, I imagine if Eve, if, if he would have came up to Eve like, you know, what we got pictures of the devil, she probably would have ran. Amen. But instead, he, he deals with you in your mind. Yes. And if you get your mind focused on the Word of God and spend some time with God in prayer and praise, and giving him thanksgiving and coming to church, then when old Satan comes and says, Now, what did she say about you? That's exactly right. What did she say about you? Look, look at good people over there. I don't know what, what. I wouldn't do that in a million years. You know, we're bad about judging church people are. Yes. You're exactly right. Amen. We here, we're righteous and they're just, you know, they're not. We can't judge. Those are things that will cause things to come into your life. That, and, and when you get things like that and you don't see it, you're blinded. Amen. And, right. and, and old Satan's going, may I, may I take that? May I take your healing? May I take, may I take your finances? <laughs> you know, the, everything about God is, everything is about, he's got a plan for everything in your life. Yes. If it's your finances, he says, so, so. He said that for us, as long as the earth goes, seed time and harvest will always be. Yes. When he when he planted Jesus, he reaped all of us. Yes. Now, I ain't saying he got a good deal, but when he planted one, look what he's gained. Amen. He's trying to show us how to stop the attack of the devil. Yes. That's exactly it's right. It's inevitable that you're going to be attacked, but what you do in the middle of the attack. It's what's going to get you through. Yes. You've got to.